Hey gang, one of the most powerful tools you have in saving time, lowering stress, and getting more done is learning how to say no. I'll give you my thoughts coming up next. So saying no, I think is hard for people with ADHD. We love to say yes. We're people pleasers and we don't want to disappoint people when they're asking us to do things. And it could be all kinds of things. You're at an event and they're asking you to volunteer for something or something of that nature. But we love to say yes. But saying yes to certain things when we cannot commit has its consequences. Everything from missed deadlines to making mistakes to forgetting things and losing time and the list goes on. We look bad when we commit to things that we cannot follow through on. And the other thing that we need to learn is how to say no to ourselves. Sometimes it's not people asking us to do things, it's you asking yourself to do something. So we need to learn how to say no to ourselves sometimes to preserve that time and lower our stress. So let's talk about a few ways that I have implemented in my life to actually learn how to get more comfortable saying no, because God knows I was very good at saying yes, and it's caused me some hard lessons. Now, the first thing you should do is to understand what you're already committed to. Get a firm understanding and a firm grip of what you've already committed to in your business and your life. And if you have to write it down on paper, that's fine. Make a list of your commitments so it is staring you right in the face. The other thing, practice pausing. Again, if you're at an event, maybe you're at a fundraising event or, or just out casually and somebody asks you, I'll use the example of volunteering for a charitable event or a fundraiser or something of that nature, you really need to learn how to practice pausing and just take a step back. You should never say yes on the spot. You really should not. And unless it's your boss or your wife, you really shouldn't make that quick decision to say yes. <laughs> we know there are some people that you're going to have to say yes to. But in general, if you're asked to do something that might be out of the realm of your commitments you've already made to yourself, take a step back. Don't say yes on the spot and understand the commitment a little more. Ask questions and decide if you can actually fully commit to what you're being asked to do. Ask yourself as well, will this get in the way of what I have already committed to? And oftentimes we commit to things that we finally realize took a lot more time and energy and resources from us and pulled us away from what we actually wanted to do in business and in life. Now, on the flip side, weigh your opportunities. Now, there are some opportunities in saying yes. Maybe you're asked to serve on a board of directors or a committee, and you might be able to meet new people during this opportunity, and it could actually help your business or could help your career. So you need to weigh those options as well. And that's why, again, I'll reemphasize, make sure before you say no or before you say yes, make sure you ask a ton of questions so you understand the commitment firmly. Now, how to say no. Be nice. When you are saying no, make sure that you are being nice and cordial and tactful. However, be firm and don't let more pressure get in the way of you actually saying no because you will feel better for it in the long run when you actually say no and realize you cannot commit to something. Um, tell them you just don't have the time to commit to it and that you would be doing them a disservice if you actually committed to the opportunity that they are giving you. Another thing, just keep your head down and get your work done. Get the goals that you have committed to done and put the energy and time into the things that you have 
already committed to. Again, refer back to your list of commitments. Saying no lowers your stress, gives you more time, and allows you to be more productive and successful with the things you have already committed to. So here you go, ADHDers. Learn how to say no and guard your own time. Get good at saying no. Hey, hit the subscribe button and don't miss another video. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.